Hello and welcome to the M3 version 1.5 demonstration video, video clip 3. Uh, this video will cover the programmatic overlay probe. Uh, this new feature added to the M3 version 1.5 allows us to recall a DXF overlay uh, as part of program playback. Uh, in order to demonstrate this functionality, we're going to go ahead and create a new part program and we're going to load a previously prepared DXF overlay file. So we'll go ahead and start a new part and we'll create a simple part program. So the recordable overlay probe works effectively by interactively loading a DXF file. When program conversion occurs after pressing the play button, any interactive loading of overlays will be added as a program step and that overlay will be called in program playback. Okay. At this point, we'd like to our overlay probe to be loaded as part of program playback. In order to accomplish this, we'll select our overlay probe and load the overlay file as, this, as we normally would. As you can see, my overlay file already has the UCS tag as part of it. This will ensure that when my overlay is loaded in playback, it is loaded in part mode. If the UCS tag is not included, the overlay will be loaded in screen mode. So you can see the loaded overlay. I can now continue on and measure additional features on my part. More than one overlay can be loaded as part of different program steps in playback. For this example, I will simply reload the overlay again. This should create an additional instance of the overlay load in program playback. I will now press play to convert the part program. We'll first play this part back in order to demonstrate the loading of the overlay file. As you will see, when we reach the program step, the overlay will be loaded and displayed in the live video frame. When in this state, the overlay itself can be manipulated, translated, rotated, etc. as per a typical overlay. It's important to realize that this step in program playback is purely an interactive gauging step. There are no results reported to the playback as a result of the overlay displayed in program playback. As soon as the operator has completed his evaluation phase, the Done button can be pressed to resume playback. Playback resumes. As you can see, we've encountered a second step where an overlay was loaded. We press Done to proceed with playback. Now that program playback is completed, I will go into edit mode to show you the overlay steps added to the program list. These, overlays can be, these overlay steps can be selected in edit mode in order to choose different DXF files to be loaded. In addition, overlay steps can be added as part of the editing process. A new overlay step can be recorded into a part program to add a new overlay to an existing part program.
The next video will describe the FOV playback optimizations.